about all that though. Once um Javante uh, uh Floyd Mayweather's daughter, and that's not even a secret. That's not even like that's not something I'm exposing. Oh wow. That's yeah. The surprising revelation that Ryan Garcia recently made regarding Tank and Floyd Mayweather's daughter's extramarital affair may have contributed to Mayweather's decision to criticize Tank's demeanor in his most recent online feud with the famous boxer. The surprising revelation that Ryan Garcia recently made regarding Tank and Floyd Mayweather's daughter's extramarital affair may have contributed to Mayweather's decision to criticize Tank's demeanor in his most recent online feud with the famous boxer. I just wanna rap. Ang started saying mean stuff about the boxing star Mayweather. He even said Mayweather was stuck in Dubai. Then, things got worse between Mayweather and Gervonta because of Ryan Garcia. Gervonta even threatened to fight Mayweather. It's been going on for a few days, but it got even crazier when Ryan Garcia got involved. Garcia said Mayweather is mad at Gervonta for dating Mayweather's daughter. Garcia also said Tank and Mayweather don't get along anymore. They used to be close, but things changed after Tank started winning fights. In 2022, Tank left Mayweather's company. He said Mayweather kicked him out of the gym and tried to stop him from training for a fight against Ryan Garcia. I made so many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end, y'all looking at the end results. Y'all not looking at the shit where y'all gonna look at the interview and Zab gonna tell y'all, you know, what you Tank used these obscure photos as a jab at himself, even though he did not specifically mention Tank, and he responded on Instagram accordingly. In addition, Davis accused Mayweather of keeping money from several boxers that he owed money to. Tank asserts that Mayweather is staying in Dubai to prevent his creditors from pursuing collection actions. He said, I'm all this bulla, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking Inga's money and not doing what they paid him to do. Ninka is a hater, Tank believes. In general, the boxing game's drama is getting hotter. In his most recent Instagram video, Mayweather addressed Tank by criticizing his personality rather than being mute. Money uploaded a video of Davis dancing, as well as a statement superimposed on it. We always knew he had sugar in his tank, Mayweather wrote. The wordplay is a disparaging critique of Tank's character. As you can see, this feud dates back a long time and is probably going to persist for the foreseeable future. In his most recent battle, Tank defeated Ryan Garcia more than a year ago. A non-title bout between Davis and Garcia is scheduled for June 15th. Garcia wants to keep the fight moving forward, while Floyd is actively attempting to shake Davis up. Many believe that this is merely a gimmick by the two to promote Tank's next fight against Frank Martin. After a fighter becomes extremely successful, everyone tends to copy. Is it the Floyd Mayweather effect? No! It's the Ryan Garcia effect! Container as he prepares for this highly anticipated fight against Frank Martin, boxing fans and enthusiasts alike feel a strong sense of anticipation and interest about Davis, a renowned figure in the lightweight class who has been visibly absent from the ring for more than a year. The need for the backstory between Davis and Martin adds an interesting layer to the pre-fight narrative. Having previously sparred together, the two fighters share a unique rapport and understanding of each other's styles and techniques, which could lead to an exceptionally strategic and competitive fight. This shared history not only intensifies the rivalry, but also provides rich material for building up the fights. Effective promotion and hype are more important than ever, especially given the stakes of defending his championship belt. Allure. Under the Mayweather promotions umbrella, Davis is aiming to not only defend his championship, but also return to the top of the sport after a long absence. Given that Mayweather Jr.'s organization is well aware of the financial implications of this bout, they probably plan to use a multi-pronged marketing approach that takes advantage of both the fighters' past accomplishments and the spectacle of Davis's comeback to the ring. Without a doubt, social media will be very important to this plan. Engaging with Martin and Davis directly on these channels might generate anticipation and excitement, since they both have substantial fan followings. 
behind-the-scenes material, press conference footage, and exclusive training videos are a few tactics that can be employed to maintain the audience's interest and awe. Davis's salvation and return may make for a really interesting narrative. It's not just about him defending a championship in this fight. It's also about him getting back to the top of the lightweight boxing class after a long break. Both casual viewers and ardent boxing fans will find the narrative compelling as it highlights his training and journey. Boosting the fight's popularity to reach a wider audience, partnerships with other media, like podcasts, sports networks, and interviews, are crucial. These collaborations allow for a more in-depth narrative and the opportunity to show Davis as a sports legend making a much-needed return rather than merely as a fighter. The newest social media given that the boxing world went crazy after Tank recently challenged Mayweather, it's possible that the dispute is a marketing tactic. There is a lot of debate over who would win a fight between Tank and Floyd Mayweather in sports. Benson turned to his old pseudonym and asked how boxing fans' fantasies come true. He also described how the weight cut at which both boxers had fought, 135 pounds, may be used in a fantasy war. Floyd designed Javent's weather. According to you, Davis's fight at lightweight 135 pounds was resolved, and he is currently the champion at 135 pounds at 290 pounds. Mayweather fought and won several of his battles against opponents like Victoriano Sosa and Jose Luis Castillo, despite only waiting a few years to enter the division before moving up. Will Mayweather's victory over Davis at 135 please fans enough? Mayweather was picked by one fan to win all 12 rounds, and they were right. Notably, the native of Michigan has been a strong force to be reckoned with, having won 15 titles in four different weight classes. In a similar vein, another user speculated that Tank would have found it difficult to continue into the seventh round because the orthodox fighter would have constantly tagged him and tested his chin to counter his powerful strikes. Floyd weighed 135 pounds. God, Floyd will shame Tank, even though I'm not a fan. Someone claimed that if Menace Tank had advanced to the seventh round, Mayweather would have humiliated Davis. One user pointed out the differences between the two fighters, one who came up through the ranks by fighting anyone and the other who fought for a sizable paycheck later in his career. Even though it seemed that both versions of Mayweather would have defeated Davis. They said, we talked pretty boy or money either way, Floyd by MD. Davis's threatening knockout skittle has confounded Ryan Garcia and Isaac Cruz, as a fan put his confidence in it. At 40, they declared that Tank had knocked him out completely. Floyd never faced a fighter as explosive as Tank. Tank has too much aura. Similarly, another user said Davis would have defeated Mayweather at any weight and in any era. However, someone questioned whether Davis had faced fighters with Mayweather's background and skill set. In response to a comment stating that Mayweather had faced someone with a skill set similar to Davis. Most notably, he had faced Miguel Cato, Shane Mosley, and Zab Judah. Devin Haney has come the closest in recent memory to matching Mayweather. Meanwhile, some have criticized Davis for protecting his perfect record. They said, Floyd has faced plenty of guys with tanky pedigree. Tank hasn't seen anyone like Floyd. Fans are already engrossed and excitedly anticipating Tank's matchup with Frank Martin, a fighter who many think has the potential to upset Tank. Though the ongoing animosity between Tank and Floyd Mayweather may help generate sizable pay-per-view audiences, what do you think? Is there really a grudge between the two? Who will win the fight between Frank Martin and Tank? That's it for now. Please share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it. To ensure that you never miss out on videos like these, please turn on the bell to receive the most recent notifications. We appreciate your time, and we'll see you in the next one.